The world of online dating has exploded in recent years. Apps like Tinder have become ubiquitous, shaping the landscape of modern romance. But this digital frontier is not without its shadows. Concerns about harassment, abuse and consent violations have plagued the industry. In response, Tinder has launched School of Swipe, an initiative aimed at educating young Australians about the nuances of consent in the digital age. This essay delves into the significance of this program, exploring its potential impact and limitations within the broader context of online dating safety. School of Swipe represents Tinder's attempt to address the growing need for consent education among its user base. The program, developed in consultation with experts like Chanel Contos of Teachers Consent, aims to equip young Australians with the knowledge and tools to navigate online dating responsibly. Through resources like the Dating Dictionary Consent Edition and informative videos, School of Swipe seeks to demystify consent promoting a culture of respect and communication. This initiative acknowledges that the digital age presents unique challenges and opportunities in navigating consent. The ephemeral nature of online interactions, coupled with the potential for anonymity, can blur boundaries and make it difficult to gauge intentions. School of Swipe aims to bridge this gap providing users with a framework for understanding and respecting each other's boundaries in the virtual realm. The program's success hinges on its ability to engage a generation accustomed to instant gratification and short attention spans. By leveraging a medium that young people are familiar with, Tinder hopes to make consent education more accessible and relatable. Tinder's research revealed alarming gaps in consent awareness among young Australians. Many young people express confidence in their understanding of consent, but their actions often tell a different story. In them. For instance, many were unsure about the legality of stealthing, a form of sexual assault. This highlights the urgent need for comprehensive consent education. Consent is an ongoing process of communication and respect. Empowering individuals to assert their boundaries is crucial. Initiatives like School of Swipe are essential to foster a culture of consent. Tinder's School of Swipe should be viewed within the larger context of an industry grappling with its role in user safety. Dating apps have faced increasing scrutiny for facilitating harassment, abuse and even violence. In response, many platforms, including Tinder, have stepped up their efforts to enhance user safety. These efforts have taken various forms, from implementing stricter community guidelines and investing in technology to detect and remove abusive users to collaborating with law enforcement agencies to address reports of harassment and assault. Some platforms have introduced features that allow users to verify their identities adding an extra layer of security. While these measures are a step in the right direction, they are not a panacea. Critics argue that more needs to be done to address the root causes of online dating abuse, such as gender inequality and the normalization of harmful behaviors. Section five, the normalization trap. When negative experiences become the norm, one of the most concerning trends in the online dating landscape is the normalization of negative experiences, particularly among women. Research shows that women are disproportionately subjected to harassment, unsolicited sexual advances, and even stalking on dating apps. What's even more alarming is that many women have come to accept these behaviors as an inevitable part of the online dating experience. This normalization of abuse is incredibly dangerous. It creates a culture of silence, where victims are less likely to report harassment or seek help. It also sends a message to perpetrators that their behavior is acceptable, perpetuating a cycle of abuse. It's crucial to challenge this normalization and create a culture where all users feel safe and respected. 
Breaking this cycle requires a multi-pronged approach. Education is crucial, both for potential victims and potential perpetrators. But it's equally important to create a culture of accountability, where platforms are held responsible for fostering safe environments and users are empowered to report abuse without fear of judgment or retaliation. The issue of online dating safety has not escaped the attention of governments worldwide. In Australia, for instance, the government has taken a proactive stance, recognising the need for greater accountability in this largely unregulated space. In 2023, the Australian government convened a national roundtable on online dating safety, bringing together stakeholders from the dating industry, government agencies and victim advocacy groups. This roundtable resulted in a clear message to dating apps, improve self-regulation or face formal government intervention. In response, many dating apps, including Tinder, agreed to a voluntary code of conduct that includes enhanced collaboration with law enforcement, stricter penalties for inappropriate behaviour, and improved user education on safety and consent. This collaborative approach between government and industry is a positive development. It signals a growing recognition that online dating platforms have a responsibility to protect their users. However, the effectiveness of this voluntary code of conduct remains to be seen. It's crucial that the government continues to monitor the situation closely and is prepared to introduce stricter regulations if necessary. While Tinder's School of Swipe is a commendable initiative, it's not without its limitations. One of the main criticisms is that the programme is hosted on a separate website rather than being integrated into the Tinder app itself. This external nature could limit its reach, as users have to make a conscious effort to access the educational content. Another criticism is that the programme frames sexual violence primarily as a matter of miscommunication or lack of education. While education is undoubtedly important, Critics argue that this framing oversimplifies the complex issue of sexual violence, potentially downplaying the role of power dynamics, coercion and intent. Addressing these criticisms is crucial for the programme's effectiveness. Integrating the educational content into the Tinder app itself would make it more accessible and difficult to ignore. Additionally, acknowledging the multifaceted nature of sexual violence and incorporating discussions about power dynamics, coercion and bystander intervention would strengthen the programme's impact. Another important consideration for School of Swipe is the need to cater to the specific needs of marginalised groups. Research shows that certain groups including women, LGBTQIA plus individuals and people of colour are disproportionately affected by online dating abuse and harassment. To be truly effective, School of Swipe needs to address the unique challenges faced by these groups. This includes ensuring that the content is culturally sensitive and inclusive, taking into account the specific forms of discrimination and harassment that these groups may experience. Creating a safe and inclusive online dating environment requires acknowledging and addressing the systemic inequalities that exist offline. It requires listening to the experiences of marginalized groups and incorporating their perspectives into the development and implementation of safety measures. While initiatives like Tinder's School of Swipe are a step in the right direction, they represent just one piece of the puzzle. Creating a truly safe online dating environment requires a comprehensive approach that goes beyond education. This includes addressing root causes, tackling societal issues like gender inequality and toxic masculinity. Platform accountability. Holding dating apps responsible for safety features and enforcing guidelines. Empowering users. Equipping users with knowledge and tools to navigate safely and report abuse. Success will be judged by a decrease in harmful behaviour and an increase in positive interactions. 
It's about creating a culture where consent is a lived reality and everyone feels empowered to connect and find love 